All right, guys. So the game is over. The Lions beat the Kansas City Chiefs. And we got to break this down. Let's go get right into it. Jared Goff, 22 for 35, 253 yards and a touchdown. David Montgomery, 64 yards and a touchdown. Honestly, Gibbs looked amazing this game. Absolutely freaking amazing. Um, he didn't have that many rushes, but when, every time he had the football, he looked like he was a difference maker. I'm going to tell you right now, Gibbs might win rookie of the year. With how good he was in this game and how good he's probably going to be this year, he could easily win rookie of the year. Josh Reynolds was a guy I did not expect to go off this game, and he went freaking off this game. Like, Josh Reynolds looked like an absolute S-plus tier receiver, and I was not expecting that in any way possible. Amon St. Brown got his, and overall, this Lions offense did struggle a lot in this game. They weren't perfect, but listen, they got the job done when they had to. They kind of sold out on the second to last drive, running the ball over and over again. And then on the fourth and two, that was such a stupid play. They literally just run the ball. Like, they, they could have ran it with first down with Jared Goff, but they ended up just trying to throw the ball, and it gets batted down. But nothing is stupider. And I'm going to say nothing is stupider than the fourth and one. No, third and one. was Yeah, third and one, where Mahomes and the boys try to do the stupidest play I've ever seen in my freaking life, where they try to run a, like, Mahomes... A hands the ball off to Eric McKinnon. Then they toss it in the number four. Who is number four anyway? Rasheed Rice. And then they try to run to the left-hand right-hand side. And they get stopped. That was the stupidest 31 play I've ever seen in my life. I ain't gonna lie to you. That was trash on trash on trash. So I'm not surprised there. But overall, I'll say one thing. The Chiefs, they need Chris Jones. The Chiefs need Chris Jones. They need to have uh, Chris Jones. And they need Travis Kelsey. They're not going to win many games without those two guys. Because Kadarius Tony tonight looked freaking awful. Guy was dropping passes left and right. Also, the other receivers. I mean, Rasheed Rice did have a touchdown. He looked the best. But outside of that, I mean, no one else looked good. MVS didn't look that good. Sky Moore didn't do anything. Justin Watson caught a big pass before halftime. But their receiving court is trash outside of Kelsey. And they're not going to go far without with those two guys. And one thing we learned tonight, and I know Chiefs fans are going to absolutely hate me for saying this, but Mahomes can't do everything. Mahomes can't do everything. Sorry, I hate to tell you that. Mahomes can't do everything. I mean, he tried to, though. He had 45 rushing yards. He tried to be the team. Like, the idea of putting the team on your back, Mahomes did everything humanly possible there to try to put the team on his back. And he, fell at, he found out what they say. F around and find out. He effed around and found out. He can't be everything. They need Chris Jones. They need their system together. And you know what? It worked out pretty dang well. MVS did have two receptions, 48 yards. And I'm not considering that pretty anything. But I, on all honesty, and I know Chiefs fans are going to hate me for saying this, but the amount of times in that game where the ball was overthrown, intended for a receiver... It was at least six, seven, or eight passes that were overthrown by Patrick Mahomes in this game, which could have been caught, but was overthrown. And there was a huge play late in the game that was overthrown by Patrick Mahomes. So I got to say that right now, and I know Chiefs fans are going to hate me for saying that, but they definitely, Mahomes sold on some of these plays. Some of these plays could have been crazy plays by Mahomes, and he just played bad. He really did. So again, it wasn't a perfect night for Mahomes, but... Out of the whole entire game, I say he played the best. I mean, he pretty much did everything. And even then, he couldn't take care of the business or get the job done. But there was so many, like, I don't even want to get into this because one of their touchdowns literally came off the fact, no, one of the field goals came off the fact there was a PI call that really gave them a crazy play. But there was so many false starts in this game that was just absolutely awful. They didn't call it. There might have been 12 or 13 false start penalties could have been called against the Chiefs in this game. And they didn't call any of them. Which is ridiculous. And other than that, though, I say the refs did a pretty good job. Uh, they didn't really make this a biased game toward any side. I think the tripping call against David Montgomery, I still find ridiculous. I mean, the guy falls to the ground and literally a guy tries to go over top of him and trips over his feet. And that's tripping. Like, that's... 
that's a little ridiculous. But other than that, I think it was a pretty dang good back and forth game. Probably one of the best games of the year, in all honesty. I mean, Jared Goff played outside of his mind in this game. And that's exactly what you expected, right? I mean, I'll be honest with you. I thought the Chiefs were going to blow him out. But they didn't. And I'm happy because this is 0-1 to start the year off. And guess what, Chiefs fans? You guys now got to deal with Burrowhead and got to deal with us. You got to deal with us now. Because if we beat the Browns, let me tell you this, okay? <laughs> if we beat the Browns, I feel bad for you guys. Because <laughs> we're going to take care of the Ratbirds in week two. Right? We're going to take care of the rat birds. Because guess what? They come into the jungle. <laughs> they come into the jungle, baby. And then we play the Rams on Ring of Honor night in the jungle. Then we play the Titans. Then we play the Seahawks. Then we play the Cardinals. So if we beat... Come here. 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 Chiefs fans. If we beat the Browns, we're going to start the season off 6-0. And then we put Niners. We might we might lose some Niners. But we're gonna solve six and zero. So you guys, you better, you better, you better get ready. Cause week seventeen, we come in the Burrowhead. Who day? 